hello guys welcome back to the channel and i got request that this lab is recently updated so it is an updated solution for this lab majorly the small solution happen on the task number two okay before starting the lab i request you please pay attention when you are trying to complete this lab because if you make a one single mistake on this particular lab you won't get a score and if you try to complete this lab using a command line it won't update a score so that's why we have to follow the lab instructions so first of all just re log in with your credentials and once you're done with that now come back over here click on the checkbox and then just click on agree and continue now just wait and just activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and then just me click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share this both command so just me copy all this command come back over here wait for a second click on this got it now just me paste hit enter wait for a second and then just click on authorize now you have to just wait for this command can execute And it's done now just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one so we are done with all this portion okay now what you do we have to create a continuous export so for that what you do just me copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just me search over here now open this thing new tab and just me come back over here wait for a second now click on this cross and then just me click on this cross over here make sure that you must be in the overview then just me click on the settings over here and then just me click on this continuous exports over here like this way then just me click on this create now for the name what you do come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see from the point number 10 just me copy this name carefully do not copy the last full stop when you are copying a name just me copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here now copy the description over here copy like this way come back over here and just me paste over here like this way now just me click on the select and just me choose your project id like this way and it's done now just me choose a topic like this if you are not able to find a topic you can just me refresh the page and that's the reason why i ask you to wait over here because you will not face this kind of error okay now here you can see this finding query if your query is not looking like this come back over here copy this query and you can just be replace over here like this way once you're done with all these changes just me click on this save so you have done with all this portion now just me copy this command copy like this come back over here click on this dashboard click on this cross and now here just me search for it and hit enter like this way and it's created so we are done with this part also now what you do we have to just send the message for that what you do come back over here and now here just search for the pops up open this thing new tab and just me come back over here then just me click on the subscriptions over here and now just me wait now just me click on this name and then just me click on this message over here now just me click on the checkbox and then just me click on this pool now just me wait until you get the output over here make sure that if you are not able to get out in the first attempt no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and again just me refresh the page you must get one single output over here like this way once you get the output now come back over here click on the checkbox and you will get a green tick on the task number one without any issue just me wait and watch and make sure that you, once you get the output then only you will get a green tick over here otherwise it won't okay now task number two is little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention over here copy this first command come back to the dashboard and just me paste over here hit enter then copy the second command come back over here wait for a second now run the second command then copy this third command copy like this come back over here and just me run over here and now just me copy this fourth command copy like this come back over here and run over here now copy this command this is a very important command copy like this come back over here wait for a second now and now run this command over here wait for a second 
and as you can see i didn't get any kind of error over here but what happens sometime when you run this command you might face an unnecessary error over here you don't have to worry about that if i just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress i won't get a score because we must get a output like this as you can see we must get this kind of table and we are not getting a table after running this command as you can see just simply wait we didn't get any kind of table and that's the reason we won't get a score over here we have to just wait at least more than 10 minutes over here to get a score over here okay meanwhile what we'll do we will continue with this task so what here do we have to create a bucket so now here just search for the bucket click over here click on this create now for the bucket name just me copy this name carefully copy like this do not copy this last full stop copy like this and make sure that your bucket must be the regional bucket okay now just paste the name over here like this way then just click on this continue from here just me choose a region over here now for the region for me the given region is us east for so i'm going to choose that for you it might be different so just me choose accordingly that now just me click on this continue over here now just me scroll down and then just me click on this create Wait for a second and then just click on this confirm. So you have done with this part. Now what you have to do, we have to create a find disk and we have to export it. So for that, just we come back to this settings tab. Then just click on this findings over here like this way. Now here you can see this export option. If you are not able to find this export option, just click on this three dot and there you will get the export option. Now just click on this exports and from here just we choose the cloud storage over here. Now just click over here and just miss choose your project ID like this way now for the export path just make click on this browse choose your project bucket name which you just created now for the file name come back over here and from here you can see from the point number 22 copy this thing carefully copy like this come back over here and just paste over here like this way and make sure that it must be findings.jsonl this one this is a very important point now just make click on this select so we are done with that now as a format it must be jsonl like this way and for the time range it must be the all time like this way make sure that your page must look like this if it's so then just me click on this export so we are done with all this portion now what you do we have to just me create a table so for that what you do just me come back over here now here just me search for the big query just me click over here wait for a second click on this done then just me click on this add over here then choose a google cloud storage like this way okay now for the browse just me click over here then just me click over here and from here just me choose that file then just me click on this select over here like this way now for the for the file format it must be the jsonl like this way now just me click over here and from here just me choose the data set okay now for the table name copy this thing carefully come back over here and just me paste over here so this is our table name and this is a change that they have made over here copy this schema copy like this come back over here now here you can see just return on this toggle and now just paste the schema over here if you are not able to type or any paste over here no need to worry again just refresh the page again follow all these instructions okay once you're done with all these things now just click on this create table now this time you won't get any kind of error your job will be created just wait and as you can see it's done now if you just me come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue if you're not able to get a green tick on your first attempt no need to worry wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a green tick on this particular task without any issue now if you just me scroll up so as you can see we didn't get a green tick over here so basically what you do you have to just me copy this query copy like this come back to the dashboard and just me run it over here like this way just repeat let's see if we get output so as you can see we are not getting output so basically we have to just repeat until unless we get output over here and then only we will get done with this lab so just repeat rerun this command again and again you might have to wait for at least 10 minutes or more than that that's the thing that you have to do now
and finally after waiting for more than a minute we got the output over here now if you just need to come back click on the checkbox you will get a green tick over here without any issue and the score will update for sure just need to wait and watch As I say, we got a green tick over here, and the score will update for sure. We have to just wait until we get an output like this way. Once we get a table like this, we will get a full score. As you can see, it's done, and that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, guys.